Hi everybody, this is Christopher Naiman. I'm going to be demonstrating some seaming methods on leather um, because I've got a lot of requests from people saying, you know, Christopher, I can't seem to get to your workshop and I bought your book and I really love to see some things in person. So I'm going to show you a couple different uh, methods. Now when we sew on leather, as you can see, I've got two layers of outer weight leather here. We use a half inch seam allowance and we want our stitch length to be 3.0 for a stitch length, okay? So now, and I'll never sew fast on leather, okay? And always test your leather, um, you know, different needle, size needle will be dependent upon the density of your leather. So here is a simple half inch seam. Okay, I'll let you see that. And there's the seam. I have top stitch, a uh, top thread is white, bottom is black. Now I'm going to do this, I call this the butterfly seam, where I'm going to split this open in the back. And this looks really pretty when you're doing patchwork for leather. Very pretty look. You'll see this in a lot of handbags. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my needle all the way over to the left. By the way, I'm using a Teflon foot. And I'm going to top stitch and I'm going to increase my stitch length to 5.0. And now I'm going to top stitch this, follow around the edge there. Okay, and there's one side. I'll show you what that looks like. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Now here comes the other side. cut leather it does shave a little bit so make sure you keep your sewing machine clean. Alright and here's the other, isn't that beautiful and here's the other side. There are no skip stitches. I'm doing this with my baby lock, Elisimo, by the way. And this is very nice leather. Okay let's try another seam. This seam kind of resembles a flat felt seam. And this is great to do when you're doing on the bottom, if you have a seam on the bottom of your bag and you want to enclose it well. So now I'm going to do um, half inch seam allowance, put my needle back in the middle position, increase my stitch length to 3.0, and let's sew. Okay, and there's the half inch seam. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold one side over. And in leather, you're gonna pound this down with a hammer, okay? Now I'm gonna ride the edge of my foot around the edge there. So you'd wanna pound this down with, with a hammer, which I'm not doing right now, but you'll make it lay flatter when you do. And create, move my needle all the way over to the left, stitch length 5.0. I'm gonna ride right against the edge of that seam. And now let's top stitch. Like I said, this resembles a flat felt seam, and there you go. There it is. Isn't that nice? Here's the other side. See how nice and flat that is back there? You got two rows of stitching because you had your first seam, but you're only seeing one seam stitch out here. And just look at that. You can see how thick that is. Now remember, every weight has different density. Every leather has different density. So if you're going to work with heavier leathers, you want to upgrade to a, a commercial grade machine. But this is uh, basically what you can do on the Baby Lock Elisimo, your home sewing machine. Um, if you want to see the samples like this in person, I suggest you go to your local Baby Lock retailer and have them sample this for you. Have them show you their leather samples to show you what the potential of these machines are. You see, these machines will sew more than just cotton. Now, I'm going to pause and show you some vinyl. Four layers of vinyl. Okay, four layers. You see that? And I'm going to sew through that. 
And here I go. Vinyl is much softer to sew on. And that's why we teach the vinyl in our in my workshops is because you can get a high-end look um, sewing with vinyl. And today they have such beautiful faux leathers and it's much more economical because there is a lot to know with sewing with real leather and it is suggested a commercial or industrial machine for sewing real leather. But if you can do lighter weight leathers, you can use um, your home machine like this baby like Alissimo. Um, it's just wonderful. Okay, now look at this. This is four layers of vinyl I'm sewing through. Let me do one more row. I'm going to hold this up and show you how thick this is. You hear how quiet it goes through? And look, it's feeding. I'm not pulling it from the back. I'm not doing any of that. I'm feeding it through very nicely. All right, there it is. I cut my threads. Okay, look at that. Four layers. Isn't that beautiful? And look at the stitching on that. Hold this up for you to see. Okay, zoomed in there. Isn't that nice? Absolutely beautiful. When you know the right methods to sew, the right needle, the right stitch length, the type of fabric you're sewing on, you can sew almost anything and make it successful. Well, you know, just for the heck of it, let's let's put another layer of this vinyl on. Let's let's add five layers. Come on, let's add five layers. Layers here. Let's go. Five. Here we go. Five layers. Five layers of vinyl. Look at that. And look how it feeds through so nicely. Isn't that beautiful? Think of all those beautiful high-end bags you can make out of faux leather. Look at this. It's gorgeous. I'm sewing right in the middle of that foot. Just to show you, demonstrate how well it feeds. Half of, half of a feed dog. And there you go. Absolutely gorgeous.